Wow, a folding 3D printer. Who would have ever guessed? I received this Focus Odin F3 3D printer from Focus to do a review on. That's pretty unique. It folds, but what else does it do? As I mentioned, it does fold, but I'm having a deja vu moment here. Wait, full stop. I already did a live unboxing on my YouTube channel, and this printer was actually won by someone. So this is going to be a reenactment. Hey, Timo, let's rehearse the reenactment from the top before we shoot it. After we lift up the folding Z, we're going to install two bolts on well, whichever side you decide to start on. Now, what's nice about this, since it's already pivoting, we could just tighten both these bolts up when we secure them. Uh, because typically what I would do is just loosely um, fit these bolts, turn the printer to the other side, and then do the same thing, and then go back and forth and tighten them all down. Now that we have this bolt secure on one side, we're going to go ahead and do it on the other. Again, don't have to worry about uh, um, just leaving them a little bit secure here. We could just fully tighten these down. I feel this is common practice now to secure the gantry in place with two bolts on each side. Now we're going to go ahead and snip the cable tie that's holding the Z up in place. And uh, now we're going to install the ribbon cable. Ribbon cables are a nice way of cable management. Uh, some people like them, some people don't. I've seen these on other printers. I own printers that have them and I've not had any issues, but that's my own personal experience. Now the one that uh, was on the top was a lock-in. This one is just a pressure fit that goes into the hot end. Go ahead and just slide it in. And you wanna make sure that they're nice and straight. Then all we do is put on these T-nuts for the filament spool holder, and we're gonna mount it to the top and tighten it down. After we're done tightening them down, then all we have to do is plug in the printer. <laughs> and that is it. We are done. Book me, that was fast. Now I really like this uh, Jesse PLA Purple Eater. These are all my settings on the left side for all the models that I've done, minus the ones that are already on the SD card. What we're going to do is put the filament on the top and we're going to feed the filament to through the direct to drive and until it stops. Since there's no filament knob, we're going to have to preheat this PLA and then just do a extrusion on the lower left of that screen once it heats up. And that's it. Your filament is ready. Pretty fast and simple. Let's go through some of the standard features of this printer. First, there is a micro SD slot for all your printed files along with a USB type A to attach to your computer. There's also a touchscreen interface. There's a volcano type hot end. There's a direct drive. We also have dual Z steppers. There's an optical end stop. There's also a 32-bit nano board with silent drivers. This is a 235 by 235 glass bed. As mentioned before, this has ribbon cables for nice clean cable management. The printer is also BL Touch ready for upgrades. Now let's go ahead and take a look at the touchscreen interface. This touchscreen is uh, pretty nice. Um, I've uh, had some printers with a touchscreen interface and I have to say this one definitely has a lot more features than others. It also has Wi-Fi capability. You have to buy the module to make it work. But uh, yeah, I, I think uh, this is a step in the right direction. And plus you could actually see the preview of your files if you slice it correctly. Pretty cool. This video is sponsored by PCBWay. Are you looking for a PCB manufacturer? Well, look no further. PCBWay has you covered. They're a one-stop shop. 
Are you looking for SMB boards, PCB assembly, flexible PCBs, or advanced PCBs? Well, PCB Way has you covered. You can also share your projects. Here is a community section where, hey, you got something that you're working on and you like to sell it to people? Well, PCB Way has your community back on this one. All you have to do is post it and um, other people can buy your, your invention, your products, and assemble them at home. I think this is a really cool area and uh, plenty of projects to check out. Well, I'd like to thank PCB Wave for sponsoring this video. So let's get back to see what this uh, foldable printer is all about. You do have the option to upgrade this machine to a BL Touch, but for now, you have to use the manual bed leveling. The screen will walk you through all the corners that you'll need to adjust using a piece of paper and make sure you can just barely drag that paper underneath the nozzle. You may have to do it more than once. Now let's go ahead and kick off some test prints and see how well this printer can print. Looks pretty good so far. As I mentioned, I am using just the PLA. Um, this is a purple eater, and this is one of the files that were on the SD card. This is a little vase. I think it came out rather nice. Look at the inside. Pretty sweet. And the, all the lines, I think this is a 0.2 layer height. Very, very nicely done. Zoom in a little bit. Yeah, you can see how nice and accurate it is very crisp i actually like the inside more than the outside pretty cool little file to test print on next i did a calibration cube and just to see how accurate it is i also did this on our on the live stream this is actually from the live stream and it came out quite nice you'll see just above the y there there's a seems to be a little bit over extrusion but Overall, it was very dimensionally accurate. The first layer laid down nice and smooth. No complaints on that. And of course, I have to do the benchy test, right? This is a 0.2 layer height. Usually I do a 0.12, but uh, it still came out quite well. It's definitely not my worst benchy, and it's not my uh, best benchy either. You, know, you will see that there's some over extruded extrusions on the hole there. But overall, I say this is pretty darn nice. Uh, there is some stringing here and in, inside, but uh, it's, I mean, for just a basic Cura profile that I did, it came out rather nice. Everything is pretty legible. Now we're gonna go back to some files that were on the SD card. This is for the hot end cover. You see that it skipped a little bit right there. This was the part of first layer, but everything else on here came out rather nice. Pretty impressed. A little bit of stringing on the inside. I mean, right out of the box, it, it's printing <laughs> pretty solid. And here's the front of the extruder cover or hot end assembly cover this was the first layer because it printed that front side down these are actually supports so you just knock those out that goes for the side where the ribbon cable is and then i'm gonna be shipping these parts to the winner of the live stream so if they want to uh replace the the front cover they can it's pretty cool that uh Focus gives you those files to print it into different color if you so choose. Now this is the Clock Spring Imperial Bowl. <laughs> I have to hand it to Clock Spring. He comes up with some great designs and this bowl is no exception. I mean, look at the detail on this. Of course, there's a little bit of stringing here and there, but this really came out nice. Really, really nice. I mean, if you just look at the inside, it looks it's just as cool as the outside. Clock Spring did another great job making this bowl here. Can't wait to print it again. 
Wow, this printer printed great right out of the box. And now it's off to its new home. I only had about a week with it. And um, I would hate to see it go. But let's talk about the gimmick here, okay? This has two bolts on each side that holds the gantry in place. Now, most printers are assembled this way. However, if you really want to make this truly foldable, I would suggest on your next iteration here, Focus, get something like these, these spring latches. That way, you can move the Z axis up, pull these quick releases, and then you can fold the printer for easy storage and or transport. I printed great, I have no problems with this printer at all, and it's standard and upgradable features. Really appreciate you guys tuning in to Tripod's Garage. Please have a wonderful day, weekend, or evening, or whenever you decide to watch this video. Thanks again for tuning in, and we'll see you the next time at Tripod's Garage.